So Pharos is a European funded uh, project uh, for uh, developing a framework, a new framework for uh, audiovisual uh, content search engine. Uh, we have different European partners allowing a rich collaboration and integrating uh, technology from different European partners. The goal of the Faris project is to develop a technology platform that can be used to build almost arbitrary audiovisual search-driven applications. With respect to the existing uh, search platform, Faros is a step forward in the technology and the user experience. Faros really enrich the information we, we have about the contents. It is what we call metadata, for example. It is information describing the content. And all this description will allow a search engine to reply to better reply to queries from users. So the more information we have about audiovisual contents, the better we'll be able to support queries from users. Uh, we aim at uh, representing an advanced way for automatic extraction of features from audio and video contents. Uh, we have uh, an architecture that allows to plug in uh, innovative and new uh, annotation tools. If you search in multimedia today, let's say you search for an image on the web, now what you actually search in is the metadata. Unfortunately, this search experience is very shallow because the semantic understanding of the object, so basically the meaning of the image, is very shallow. However, there are technologies which allow you to automatically generate metadata, so-called annotations, for images, for example. Uh, example technologies would be uh, speech-to-text, which is able to transform spoken words into text. There are technologies for image classification and object detection that can be used to build um, additional metadata for images. There are technologies for music classification. There are technologies for all kinds of segmentations which allow you to understand the temporal structure of uh, a video, for example when there are shot boundaries or when speaker turns happen. Uh, we extend the search concept to such aspects as uh, personalization and social uh, personalization of the results, together with also uh, um, publish-subscribe aspects, so that uh, users can pose a query, register it, and ask for uh, new content to come and the system will notify them once the contents arrive. Uh, Faros develops two main frameworks. There's one framework for content analytics, which allows you to uh, better understand what the content is actually about. And the second framework is about search, uh, which is trying to combine the ability to search in metadata or in XML, uh, together with the ability to search in the content itself. So you are able to um, search for similar images, uh, similar music, similar videos, etc. Currently, when you're talking to a user about a search engine, is thinking of just, we need to find a, quer a good query in order to find a good answer list. What we are experimenting and developing with Pharos is supporting new interaction mode, for example, allowing the user to refine his query, to browse, to browse content collections, to monitor queries, to save queries, to reuse queries, to share queries among users. So all this support of query management will really enrich and help the user in order to take the advantage of the search engine. Faros allows you to find information. Information finding is, is essential for any kind of knowledge worker inside a company. It is essential for broadcasters in order to have um, access to their digital assets. It let also broadcaster to offer, uh, to, to get a bigger audience to their contents by providing a uh, publishing description of their content in order to, to, to get a higher audience to, to their content. For example, if they manage a web portal uh, ac uh, allowing users to access to their content, this web portal can be, have the audience being increased by having the content being indexed by search engine like Pharos. Well, Pharos has uh, several possible exploitations uh, in terms of uh, um, industrial applications. In particular, we aim at uh, addressing the enterprise search, 
So imagine a scenario where you have a big uh, TV producer or a broadcaster that has hundreds of hours, thousands of hours of contents, and he cannot uh, manually uh, describe them because it would be so costly that they cannot really do it. So for them, a system that automatically extracts features and uh, speech recognition would be of great help. Uh, the other possible uh, user of the interface is the end user. Imagine again uh, the uh, TV broadcaster scenario. Uh, the broadcaster could put on the web hundreds of hours of search, searchable content, and the final user can go on the website and search for the content he wants. My vision for Pharos is um, making a reality, uh, helping to, to, to content provider, to broadcaster, realize that new technology now is, is mature in order to uh, provide new experience to their audience uh, by allowing them to, to choose among the content they want uh, according to their own interest. Faros has a long-term vision, which is to make the, all the audiovisual content and in general the multimedia content available and searchable both for final users and uh, enterprise customers. This is the uh, long-term dream. Uh, there are a lot of challenges uh, towards this direction, in particular in the uh, sense of scalability of the technology with respect to hundreds of terabytes of contents and also in terms of um, um, licensing problems on the contents. What on makes Faros very unique is the actual consortium. We have um, high caliber people coming from academia, uh, specialists in their domain of research. We have um, very strong industrial players. Um, we have France Telecom as one example, uh, being one of the very big European service provider. Uh, Circom Regional and its 400 member stations is able to give uh, very useful requirements for uh, audiovisual search, in particular for the broadcaster domain. What is important for broadcasters today is basically to understand the spoken language of um, a video and having an as complete uh, understanding of the metadata that is available. This is the baseline for today. What we call the Faris Federation, uh, and allowing many technology providers or content providers uh, being able to look at the result of Pharos and understanding the value of it for their own business. If you look into the near future, you need to be able to have an as holistic understanding of the video in order to make it accessible, to make it searchable and to make it reusable. A program like Pharos and the framework for content analytics inside Pharos allows broadcasters to add uh, various um, sources of metadata automatically generated from the video.